Hey guys, Brian here with Mechanical Miner. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm a builder, fabricator, and also a plaster miner here on Vancouver Island. Um, we recently just had our permit accepted from the government, so we should be bringing this trommel up to the bush very soon and go do some plaster mining with it. It's a new plan. We're going to cut this end off of the barrel. We're going to extend it with this piece here. It's going to make our nugget trap um, way better. I hate changing plans, but... Sometimes you just got to do it. Just broke the first bit. I don't know what happened, but... So, yeah. All right. This is taking me a little bit longer than I expected, but... Anyways, I almost got through the whole piece. So I've been cutting away on this with a jigsaw for hours. It's taken a while, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So we're gonna extend the whole trommel out. Because I'm gonna cut this piece off here. Decisions, decisions. Do I weld this thing over the barrel or do I do it like I did this sheet and weld it right to the barrel? So I just realized that my trommel barrel's a little out of true. So I gotta maybe take a sledgehammer and give it a little bit of loving. <laughs> Get it round again. <laughs> Another thing I gotta do is... Uh, I got to go into town and buy some new wheels for this thing. Um, these wheels here were just my temporary wheels. Let's get this out of our way for now. I'm only going to keep two of these in here and then I'll take the rest of these four out. I'll leave the backs in. All right, let's get cutting. leave all six in the back like that like I said to churn it all up really well at the back and then it'll have all of this area to kind of just slide up and down as it's going around right the rocks will just sit there and do this so 30 days ago I got my permit accepted by mines um, by the health and safety and reclamation code of British Columbia um, so I should be hearing, I think tomorrow, because um, it's been the 30 days or just over 30 days for the final process uh, to go through. So I should be hearing, like I said, any day on that and then I can pay my reclamation bond and yeah, we can move forward and get this thing out to the bush. I started building this trommel, um, I guess about two years ago. Um, I built it in my spare time. Um, I have a few disabilities, um, which most of you know. Um, I got a real bum shoulder and I got a really bad back as well. Um, I am working towards getting it all fixed. I do have a surgery coming up in the next six to eight months uh, for my shoulder. Uh, however, I still have my back issues. Um, so we'll see how all this goes. Living with chronic pain sucks. Yeah, so anyways, this is the stuff that keeps me sane. So for those of you who don't know what a trommel is, a trommel is essentially a large washing machine that separates rocks into smaller material. Now all the big material goes in up here in the upper hopper, comes down here and gets screened off through the grizzlies and only lets whatever your spacing is between your grizzlies in. And then it gets brought down here, goes through your trommel barrel, which I have half inch holes on, on here, and then down here, I got an inch and a quarter to inch and a half holes on the end for the nugget trap. Now, as everything goes through there, it goes down in here into this, what we call a drop box. And then gets brought down and then dropped into here where that nut is. 
All the materials go down there and then it flows down the sluice box and catches all the gold nuggets. You know, I built this this thing from, from my own head. I didn't have any plans or anything. I just designed it in my head and, and thought about the type and size of machine I wanted for a small scale unit. And, and this is what I thought the trommel should be for a small scale. So, you know, I, th I think it turned out pretty well. And, uh, you know, I, I'm changing my, my design a little bit because um, I was going to do the nugget trap up top, but now I'm doing it like this out of the front of the barrel and just adding a second sluice just, just for ease for me. sections cut out starting to look really good in there it's got lots of room for that gold to settle down and get into that drop box last one nice just gotta cut these off now I just did here I just cut the end of that barrel off just for a um, another ring for the outside of the barrel so it's going to be exactly the same It's all tacked on here. Paul. Woo. I'm just going to trim off a little bit and it should fit in there nicely. All right, looks like the uh, barrel's situated. Let's get to some welding. All right, this thing's looking pretty good. I got it all tacked on. Uh, actually, it's all almost fully welded on the outside edge now. I got a bit more to do, just giving the uh, old welder a break. So I got the whole inside to weld still, but the outside is completely welded. So if I can just get 
all of this all welded all the way around that should be good well it looks like i'm done here for the day if you guys like what's going on here with the trommel build please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so hopefully you're having a great day and uh we'll see you on the next one bye